Hey my YouTube family, welcome back, it's Tim guys and what we're going to do today is we're going to cook something guys I know I've been doing a lot of reviews on a lot of frozen stuff and this and that lately but you know what, um, I've been very busy guys with a lot of projects so what I thought tonight is I'm going to actually cook something and create something so what we're going to do is we're going to do a herb and garlic crust at a Pacific Cod on um, mash with uh, some uh, sun-dried tomato pesto uh, topped up with peri peri prawns. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've got sort of everything ready, ready to go. So what I'm going to do is there's my uh, Pacific cod there, guys. I've got a couple of little pieces there. All right, I've got one cooking in the oven at the moment, so I've already crusted it just to catch up with the video. So that's uh, ready there. I've got some uh, prawns which I've cleaned up and butterflied. So we're going to use them. I've got some breadcrumbs. In a little bowl so probably about a handful just to crust up one little uh, piece of cord uh, what I've done guys I've already done my mash so um, I've uh, boiled my potatoes put some butter through it some salt and I've whisked it up till it's nice and fluffy all right so we're gonna use that on the bottom all right also we're using some uh, butter fully Australian unsalted butter from Aldi so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt some butter I'm gonna put that through the crust uh, we've got some Tesco red pesto, uh, a taste of Italy. We're going to use some of that to create the sauce on the bottom. Uh, we've got some crushed garlic from Stone Mill from Aldi again. We've got some oregano leaves, which we're going to use. I've got some salt, as you guys know. And I'm using some Olivari Pure Olive Oil from Spain for extra flavouring. And I've come across this peri peri sauce that I found at uh, the reject shop for about one dollar guys on clearance So I'm going to use that as well All right, so what we're going to do is our mash is ready Our cod's there. So what I'll do is I'm just going to turn the pan on a little bit I'm going to cut up some butter So we can melt and mix into our, uh, our Crumb and then we're going to chuck it in the oven All right, So I'll just get a little knife Right, so we'll throw that in the pan, melt it up a bit, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make another, uh, after we empty the, the, the pan out into the crumb, we're going to actually melt some more butter and cook our garlic prawns with some peri peri. Alright, so I'm trying to speed up as quick as I can to show you guys, because uh, it's really not a complicated dish, and... Um, it's not going to take that long and you know what it's going to be extremely tasty so we'll go from there all right so let's melt our uh, butter and we'll pour that into there so what we'll do guys grab a little bit of salt so there's our breadcrumbs add a little bit of salt don't want to do too salty all right next we'll get some oregano sprinkle some oregano And we'll get our crushed garlic, so a little bit of crushed garlic. I'm going to get another spoon. Get our crushed garlic. Whack that in there for extra flavour. Some into the prawns. Alright. And while our butter is melting, add a little bit of olive oil to your crumb mix. Not much. And our butter's melted, guys, as you can see there. So we're going to pour that into our crumb mix. All right, well, that's heading up. So just get your crumb mix with your garlic, herbs, and butter. Mix that through and salt. So it's all nicely combined together. Because what we're going to do is we're going to coat the... Uh, now, I've used skinless uh, Pacific uh, cod because you don't want that skin to come out just when you're enjoying that beautiful meal with the fluffy mash and um, your sauce and stuff, guys, because, yeah, the skin's just going to intrude into your your taste buds. And, uh, what the hell is this? All right, so there's our crumb mix. All right, so we'll let that rest a touch. While that's happening, guys, the mash is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the uh, the pesto sauce. 
All right, so we're gonna add a bit more butter into the bottom. Now I was gonna do a creamy or coconut uh, pesto sauce, but because I didn't have any and I didn't go to the shops, so I thought I'd do it this way. Let me just check our cod, it's nearly ready there. It's gonna get another spoon. Just we'll add our sauce in there, guys. For the bottom layer. That's what we're creating first. For our plate. All right, so we'll put that aside. Give that a little bit of a stir. Because that's gonna go on the bottom of our plate. And we're going to cook our peri peri prawns on top of that. Alright. So there's our prawns. As you can see, I've just added a little bit of garlic to it and a little bit of salt. I'm just going to... What I'm going to do, guys, is I'll crumb the, uh, the cod now. Just to show you guys what it looks like. I hope everyone can see it. So... Don't be shy with it. Crust it nice because you want it to come out golden brown. Smells so good. All right, now that we've crusted our cod, guys, look at that. Nice and beautifully crusted. So we're going to chuck that in the oven. But before we chuck that in the oven, I've got one that's already pre, -pre made. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that one out. Now I've got my plate, guys. So I'll just move some pasta aside. What we're going to do is because I've got my sun-dried tomato or pesto, red pesto sauce, I'm just going to scoop some up. And we'll layer that on the bottom, like that. A bit of colour and decoration. Alright. So we sort of got our bottom of our plate prepared there. So what we're going to do next guys is we've got our mash that I prepared. So it's nice and fluffy as you can see. I'll show you guys. So I whipped it up as much as I could to make it nice and fluffy. Right, so next guys, we're going to put mash on the bottom. Now it doesn't matter if this goes a little bit cold, it's warm. Hot's probably better. But because I'm in a rush, I'm trying to speed it up. We've got our mash there on the bottom. Next what we're going to do is we're going to put our prawns on guys. So leave a bit of that sun-dried tomato stuff in there. And now we're going to use the peri-peri sauce. Add some to our pan. Now be careful guys, this peri-peri sauce is extremely hot. We've got our prawns with our garlic, so we're going to cook them and toss them through a little bit. That's going to take long. Toss them in the pan. Alright, let's take this cord out to see what it looks like, and we'll chuck the other one in. All right, so there we go, guys. Beautifully cooked, and puffed up, just like I wanted. All right? Herb and garlic crusted cod. All right, so we'll put that aside. We're gonna plate up in a sec, and we'll go from there. So there's our prawns, I butterfly the prawns a little bit. So we're gonna cook them through the peri-peri. Don't use too much peri-peri guys, because it's extremely hot, and you don't wanna burn your mouth. So add a little bit of salt. Just gonna get some tongs so I can uh, flip them over. Sorry I got my back turned guys. Now 
Now what I'll do guys is I won't do a taste test at the moment. What I'll do is I'll give it a bit of a taste and a try. Once it's cooked then I'll let you know in the comments. Now, um, what we're doing is because you've got that beautiful sun-dried tomato pesto down the bottom with the mash and you've got that beautifully crusted cod with that peri-peri prawns, you're getting um, all sorts of different kicks in there on the palate in the different flavours. Alright, keep an eye on this. It's not going to take long, those prawns smell so nice. Oh my god. They are making me so hungry, and you know what? After eating, after eating um, like a week, two weeks full of frozen foods, because I've been so busy and trying to do reviews, this is like gonna be like a reward for me, guys. And it smells absolutely amazing. I can smell all that combination of beautiful flavors coming through. All right, so while that's cooking, what we'll do, guys, is we'll get our cod. Or right, I'm gonna have to hold that. You get a nice piece of cod there, some cod. All right, I'm gonna sit that on our mash. Just like that, perfect. I'm gonna add the other piece of crumb cod on there. And we'll chuck that in the oven, so we'll let that cook. That's the second piece. So that's cooking down there. Our prawns are pretty much ready. Turn that off. No, we won't. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to that and a touch to this. And I'll show you guys what it looks like so far. That's what it looks like so far, guys. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Very colourful. I hope everyone can see that. So the camera is trying to adjust. All right, the prawns are ready. We'll turn that off, and you can smell that uh, chili cooking through. All right, <coughs> it's actually very spicy. So we'll lay out our prawns on that one. Mm. Leave it there. That's fine. Another one there. One more on top. Oh my god, that tastes so nice. I can taste it on my fingers. Another one there. Another one there. One more on the side, we'll put that off. And we'll just garnish that slightly, guys, with our parsley. looks so good mm. and I can actually taste it without even finishing it so I'll put a bit of parsley there and a bit of parsley there there we go guys look at that we've got <coughs> excuse me a bit of smoke <coughs> it's making me cop that chili so we've got the uh, Pacific uh, cod uh, crumb with uh, garlic and herbs We've got a mash with sun-dried uh, pesto sauce with um, peri-peri prawns and now they smell really spicy guys. So what I'll do is I'll take a photo for the beginning and I'll have a bit of a taste test and uh, put a comment in there and let you guys know how it goes. <coughs> That's very spicy guys. Sorry I'm coughing. Thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications guys. And uh, stay safe, stay connected, stay blessed, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, I'll be back to doing some other reviews as well. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye.